Hey guys, Money here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get yourself in a into a uh, solo public lobby after patch 1.44, which just came out today. This is the nightclub patch. Now, as you guys can see, I'm in a public lobby right now, but with 30 people, and this is the Xbox One method, but uh, the PS4 method is similar. You just got to change your MTU in your network settings. So as you can see here, I am on GTA Online version of 1.44, and all you guys got to do once you're in a public session, go into your Xbox settings, go down to Network, and then Network Settings. Scroll over to Test NAT Type and click that. It might take, a, I don't know, like 10-ish seconds for it to actually check your connection. Now, once it's done, um, it, yours might be faster or slower, so it's not really that big of a deal. Once it's done, go ahead and click, uh, click Continue once that pops up. And as soon as that pops up, you might see a little bit of a lag spike. And as soon as you see that, everybody will start leaving. As you can see in the top left-hand side there, I am now in a public solo lobby by myself with nobody else. Now, um, you may get random people joining after a certain amount of time. So it's not, uh, it's not solo for the whole time. So just keep that in mind. Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy, Caveman. I'm back, back with another GTA 5 money glitch video guys super excited about this one too man super excited i'm so excited man i just had to break it down for y'all just for a little bit bro because i just can't help it y'all remember the 10 cars at once dupe right that thing got patched okay it was way too easy for rockstar to sleep on that thing you know damn well they weren't gonna sleep on that because that glitch was way too easy dudes so they patched that thing really fast okay now the workaround came to that and the workaround got patched in a couple of hours, dude. Like, I couldn't even upload the video in time before it got patched. And that's how fast it was, okay? But here I have the workaround for you guys. So huge shout out from the get-go to my boy Redman who helped me find this workaround for y'all, man. Now, the original founders of this glitch are NHJ and Jackson Noir, okay? But this little method that I'm about to show you guys, this is our method. My boy Redman and I were messing around with this today, and not only did we find out how to get this working again, but you can dupe 20 cars at one time now, bro. 20 cars. It turned into so much of a better glitch. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do all that in this video. But I just wanted to point that out, guys. This glitch got so much easier, okay, and a lot faster. So just so you guys know, the glitch is back, and it's Friday, so hopefully we get this thing working all weekend, guys, all weekend, okay? Now, just like before, you're going to need the same requirements. One friend, invite-only session, no custom plates needed, all right, guys? Also, any of the nightclubs, you will need one of those. You need the basement level 2, 3, and 4. In the basement level 2, just like you see here, I'm, I have a full of retros, okay? All retros in basement level two. That's exactly how you want it, guys, because whatever you have in basement level two, just like before, okay, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna it's gonna glitch into basement level three and four now, guys, and four without your friend having to leave the little job. Okay, watch what I'm gonna show you here. Now look, this is how I have everything set up. I'm just showing you guys how my setup is. That's B3 and it's full of RH8s, okay? Everything full of RHAs. This is how you want to have it. And you also want to have B4, just like you see mine, full of RHAs, okay? Now, you're also going to need a CEO garage with an empty spot, okay? You must have an empty spot in there, and you must have the the mod shop, okay? You That's the only way to save these things, guys. You can use the MOC, but I don't recommend it, which is why I'm not even going to show you that shit, because the MOC sucks. You need the CEO with the mod shop to save these things, all right, guys? So... You want to start off just like you see me do here. I'm outside of my club, all right? I got my boy Red Man right here, and we're getting after it. So all you're going to do at this point is you're going to go ahead and enter your club, all right, guys? And you're just going to go ahead and bring your boy in there with you, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and bring him in here with me, and we're going to go into basement level two, okay? That's where you want to start off the glitch every single time, all right? basement level two you go right into basement level two where all of your retros are and remember what i've told you guys retros will get you the most amount of money now you see right here my boy's just going to go ahead and just stand right in this section right here okay guys and i'm going to show you once he's done shaking his ass exactly what he's going to do all right but he's just going to post up right there guys right in the middle between the two cars and on that wall facing the cars all right now this is exactly what you're going to do if you're the friend you're facing the cars, just like you see me do here, all right, guys? 
And all you're simply going to do at this point is you're going to fire up a Titan of a job, bro. Trust the old Titan. You know that that thing always comes through for us, bro. So listen, you're going to fire up Titan of a job. And you saw how in the background, you see right there how you can see all the cars. You want to wait till you're at this screen to where you're back down in the setting screen of Titan of a job. But you in the background see all his cars. All right. Now you tell your boy, all right, dude. We're ready to go. I'm in Titan of a job. So you see back there, my boy disappeared. Red man disappeared because he jumped into Titan of a job for me, all right? And once he told me, all right, dude, listen, I'm back at that screen, okay? You must wait for your boy to sit back at the screen where he's in the setting screen, but yet he can see your cars in the background, okay? Once he says, all right, good, I'm good to go, then you can go ahead and exit all. You want to make sure you exit all. If you exit by yourself, this will not work. That's the workaround, okay, guys? That right there is how they patched it. You must exit all, all right? So if you hit exit by yourself, trust and believe that this is not going to work, all right, guys? So make sure that you do hit exit all. Now, just, just a heads up, okay? You always want to make sure to exit first, never from basement level to basement level, okay? Or your dupes will disappear. So full warning, all right, guys? You must go outside every single time first, Okay, because that right there will make your dupes disappear. So like you see me do there, all I did was jump outside after he's in the job. And now I go into three. Okay, make sure you go into three this time, guys, because now when you go into three, you see all my dupes are in the basement level three. Now they all just transferred over to basement level three, just like you see me do right here. All of them. Okay, so now I just made 10 dupes. They're not saved yet. Okay, they're not saved. But these are all my brand new 10 dupes and my boy still in the job still waiting on the setting screen just make sure he doesn't get off that screen and just like you see me do here guys you cannot now now you can't go to basement level four okay if you go to basement level four these dupes disappear okay but if you go outside first just like i told you before you must go outside first every single time once you spawn outside, you're simply going to turn right back around, guys, and now you're going to go back inside. Now, this time, you're going to go and pick basement level four, okay? Just like you see me do here, basement level four. And when you go into basement level four from outside, remember, not from three to four, but from outside to four, boom, look at that. What? 20 dupes. 20 dupes. I mean, are you kidding me? Dudes, get after this. Get after this bro this glitch right here requires a friend but i recommend you guys get social and start making friends because this is worth it trust and believe this is worth it now you see me go back outside okay before i go into three again because if not the dupes will disappear so as you see here i went back outside back into three boom the dupes are still there guys the dupes aren't going anywhere as long as you always go outside first make sure dudes i can't stress that enough that is super, super important with this glitch and this little workaround, okay? You always go outside first before you do anything else. Don't go from basement level to basement level or you're done. The, the dupes will disappear if you haven't saved them yet, okay? If you haven't driven them to the CEO garage, they will disappear. So you must go outside first. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to save them. Now that you have your 20 dupes, okay, you must save each and every one of these things or they will not appear when you start your game back up. So in order to save these things, this is where I told you, you absolutely need the CEO garage and it has to have an empty spot in there, guys. I don't recommend the MOC. You can save this in the MOC. Don't get me wrong. You can, but every time that you come back into the nightclub, the MOC despawns and it goes right back into the bunker. And now you're waiting on a four minute wait time to get your MOC back out. And this rinse and repeat is way too awesome for four minute wait times, dude. So do not do the MOC. I don't recommend it at all which is why I'm not even showing that shit because it's pointless, okay? Go ahead, drive your car out, and you're going to go straight straight to your CEO garage, okay? You're just going to drive it in. Remember, it has to be empty. You cannot get the full alert. You can't be transferring cars back and forth at this point, guys. If you transfer cars back and forth, you will mess up the glitch. So you have to make sure that you have at least one empty spot in there so that you're able to drive this car in with no alert whatsoever. And you're simply just going to come inside of your CEO garage. It's going to kick you out and you're just going to jump back in the car. Press right D-pad. Even though you don't get the option, you still press right D-pad and you're going to go right into the mod shop. Just like this, guys. You need this mod shop. Even though you drove it in the CEO, it didn't save it. You must change something on the vehicle to save it. All right, guys. I go ahead and just change the lights. 
You can just that's one of the cheapest things to save. If you don't have a modded plate like I do, I got a Yankton plate, so I'm not trying to mess that up. But if you don't have a Yankton plate, you could just change into one of your other uh, custom plates, for example, and that's free. You don't even have to spend money on that, okay? So once you change something, boom, the car's done. The car's saved. You're good to go, bro. All you did was change something on the car, and you're simply going to go ahead and exit to ground, just like you see me do here, and just drive that thing right back to the nightclub and make sure, make sure that you drive it right back into the exact same basement level. So we took this out into basement level three. We're going to go right back into basement level three. And you're going to go ahead and just park it there, get back in your other one, and save the other one just like we did here. You're going to do this for all 20 dupes. You have to do this for every single one of these guys or they will disappear they won't be there when you come back okay so make sure you do that guys and like you see here no custom plates needed guys what's happening out there everyone it's real easy here and welcome back to the channel today's video i'm going to be showing you how to put any vehicle you want inside of any garage basically okay you can put special vehicles uh you know if you got the tank in the facility i'm talking aircraft uh, bmx bikes anything you can put them in your moc in your nightclub in any garage ceo garage whatever you want in this video i'm going to be showing you how to actually put a bmx bike in the nightclub so that you can do a money glitch all right there is a solo money glitch this method is 100 solo and if you have a bmx bike you can do the solo money glitch in my next video so this is pretty beneficial to a lot of people all right this is the these are the requirements okay now you want to go ahead and fill up B2, all right? You need the nightclub, and you want to go ahead and fill up level B2 and B4, all right? B4, just fill it up with a bunch of RH8s. B2 doesn't really matter what's in there, honestly. But B4, you want a bunch of RH8s like this. So that is necessary. Now, apart from that, the founder, I don't know if I said it, it's NHJ. So big shout out to NHJ. Link is down in the description. Now, you also are going to need a few garages, and I'm going to show you kind of how to set those up right now. I like to do this glitch in a public session, okay? Public session has a lot more lag and it will help when actually hitting this first part of the glitch. Now on PS4, we're gonna be using recent activities on Xbox, you do need a friend in another targeting mode, so it's kinda like semi-solo on Xbox. But you don't need to contact your friend, you don't need to talk to them, nothing like that. You just need them in a different targeting mode, playing GTA Online. Now, look at my garages, you see my garage is right here. Now, you need a two-car garage somewhere that's not in your top slot there. You need a two-car garage that's full with a BMX bike in it already. That's my second garage right there. Now, the first garage on top of your list, you want that to be like a 10-car or a six-car garage. And in the first spot, I recommend having an RH8. If you want, first two spots have an RH8. So you want to set it up like that. That's how you want your garages set up. Now, you also need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and you want it to be empty. Okay, you need the MOC to be empty. That's very important. And the best part is to get this stuff to get this stuff done, you know, to get a BMX bike, you only need to do all this once, okay? Once and that's it. So, we're going to get started here with the actual glitch, and what you need to do is get a street car. So, I recommend like I said, be in a public session. I do think it helps. At least it helps me a lot more. But go into a public session. Now what you want to do is have your street car drive up to your garage now playstation get a recent activity ready play or xbox you're gonna need a friend in a different targeting mode so drive up to the garage hover over b2 now we're you want to go ahead and select b2 and remember it's full so you're gonna get this alert right when you accept this playstation bring up the recent activity and sit on the alert so here we go i'm gonna accept it double tap start just down line sit on this alert for I'd say 45 to 60 seconds, okay? I sit on it for a minute and I think that it works pretty well for me. On Xbox, you wanna do the same thing, but I'd say join your friend in a different targeting mode before and then accept the full alert. You want that alert to come up quick and you wanna accept the first alert and then sit on the second alert, which is the targeting mode. And like I said, sit on it for about a minute. Once you've sat on your alerts for about a minute, decline and you should be under the map. If you're not, you just try again, but you should be under the map, press wire triangle to get out of the vehicle and then you'll spawn back on top of the map like this so at this point you actually don't want to call out any personal vehicles whatsoever all right don't call out anything a bike car plane nothing no personal vehicles out on the map you want to grab you want to grab a street car and this is the time where you're actually going to be heading over to that two car garage where i said you needed a bmx bike in so make sure you have that two car garage that has a bmx bike Okay, also request your MOC if it's not on, if it's not out on the map already. You could request it before you do, you know, the glitch part right there at the nightclub, 
but if you fail, then your MOC despawns. So that's why I recommend just calling the MOC out once you need it. So I'm taking my streetcar because I don't want a personal vehicle out on the map, and I'm, I called the MOC out, it's out on the map too, and I'm going over to my two-car garage, okay? That's this garage right here. I recommend getting garages really close to the nightclub so that, you know, it's really easy to do this and you don't have to travel really far. So here's my two-car garage where I purchased a BMX bike in. I'm going to get on the BMX bike and I'm going to drive out. Don't tap X like I did. Just literally press the right trigger or left trigger and you will, you know, spawn outside. So now I have the BMX bike outside. At this point, you just need this out on the map, okay? So you can leave it wherever you want. Just go ahead and leave it out on the street, get another streetcar, and this is where you want to head over to your MOC. So you want a streetcar that you, you, you'll, you'd be able to park inside your MOC. Don't get a really expensive streetcar that you can't store. So I have this streetcar right here, and I'm just going to drive over to the MOC. And since I bought all my garages nice and close to the nightclub, it's not that bad of a drive. So here's my MOC spawn point. I'm going to go ahead and remember the BMX bike is out on the map. Very important before you do this step. Whatever vehicle you want, aircraft, uh, you know, whatever it is, special vehicle, this is the time where you need it to be out on the map. Now you go ahead and you just drive right into your MOC. You don't even need to press right D-pad. It sucks you right in. And remember, you want it to be empty. The MOC needs to be empty. So this is going to be the only car in there. If you get stuck on this black screen here like I did, PlayStation do a recent activity and decline the alert. Xbox, different targeting mode alert. Accept the first alert and decline the second, and you will get off of this black screen. So I'm going to do my recent, and then it's going to show me outside here for a second, but then it will spawn me inside the MOC. Okay? Now, all I got to do is get back into the car, and I'm actually going to show you the plate, because the plate will change once I spawn outside. So look at the plate. It says 47JQX, I believe. It's kind of hard to read for me for some reason. But I'm going to drive out, and you will see the plate be completely different. All right, so make sure you look at the plate before you do this just to make sure everything worked. There we go, 68, 970 at the end. Right there, that's a brand new plate. I know I'm good. So believe it or not, this is actually a BMX bike right now. That's why it changed the plate. We just overwrote the bike that was out on the map. And the streetcar, although it looks like the same car, it's actually a BMX. That's what the game is, it, you know, looks at it as. So at this point, this is where you want to take your technically BMX, but streetcar, after, you know, you've driven it out of the MOC with the brand new plate, you want to take it back over to the nightclub. And remember I said B4, you want that to be level B4, you want that to be filled with RH8s. That's where we're going to be driving to. So I'm going to go to level B4 right here, accept the full alert. And when I go in there, it's going to ask me to replace over one of my RH8s in there, which is totally fine because I don't need those anyways. And you'll see this is how you put whatever vehicle you had on the map there, out on the map at that point with the MOC. So I already have a BMX bike actually on the floor, but I'm going to go ahead and actually replace over an RHA right next to it and have two BMX bikes just to show you that it did work, all right, for those of you that are skeptical. But as you can see right there, boom, two BMX bikes. I've just added this one. That other one I added before because I was testing some stuff out with the glitch. But this is how you get whatever vehicle you want. And when you have like a thruster or an aircraft in here, sometimes they can even fly in here. So they're pretty fun to, uh, you know, screw around with. But that's it. All right. Once you have one BMX bike, you never need to do these steps again. All right. I'm going to show you how to actually duplicate your BMXs really fast and easily okay and this is why we set up our garages in the you know in the beginning of the video make sure you set up your garages the way that i did so that you can do this part right here so i'm gonna head over now to the garage that's first on my list spanish avenue remember i said that was important whatever garage is first on your list you want that to be a 10 or 6 car garage this is my spanish avenue apartment okay so i'm gonna go into the spanish avenue apartment like i said it must be the first garage on your mechanics list so check it before you even start this entire video all right and make sure you have that set up and like i said you want an rh8 in slot one slot one and two would probably be the best because you're going to be getting a lot of bmx's so pay attention open up your phone go to the internet and now go to travel and transport pedal to the metal and this is where you buy the bmx bikes so we're going to buy a bike and look where i put it so I'm going to go down the list and you see the two car garage where we pulled out the BMX bike before select that garage, the two car garage, select the two car garage. And you see that glitched out screen. That means we're good to go. Just go ahead and press X or a once again, you'll get a replace alert. That's fine. Accept it. And what just happened, believe it or not, we just ordered a BMX bike and it went into this first garage into the first slot. That's why we wanted the RH8 there. Okay. Very important so that you don't override a car that you care about. So now at this point, we are 
like pretty much done. That's how you actually buy more BMX bikes. So say you wanted to buy another one right now, just go ahead and swap spots. Make sure you have an RH8 in slot one and you can do the same thing. Open up your phone and order a bike into the two car garage and it'll glitch out for this garage. So now we have bikes in car slots. So for the duplication glitch, if you do want to set up for the solo money glitch, which is the main purpose of this video, I wouldn't post it if it didn't lead to a money glitch, to be honest. So at this point, where do we need our BMX bikes for the money glitch? We actually need to transfer the BMX bikes over to the facility. So what you want to do is just go outside, open up your phone, call your mechanic, and you want to order up whatever cars. I recommend having RH8s because they're way easier to use, but order up whatever car you have over at your facility and you want to drive it into this garage where you have the BMX bikes. Or if they're in the nightclub, you drive them into the nightclub, wherever you have your BMX bikes. Just get a car from your facility, bring it to one of these garages with a BMX, select to transfer the vehicle, and there we go. I have a new RH8 here, which is good because I'm going to need it anyways. And now that BMX went over to the facility, which we're going to need for the duplication glitch. So. That's it guys, you only need to do the first part once, after that, once you have one BMX, you just do the rest, the last part of the video, over and over again to get more BMX bikes, okay? So, stay tuned for the next Solo Money Glitch video, that's gonna be it for me, my name is Roll Easy. please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button, turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative Dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers, peace out. Yo, what's good Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.